Hello and welcome to Before You Buy. This week's kit is a Styline kit from AMT and the car inside is the 61 Ford Galaxy. There is the AMT part number of 8120. This is like the 9697 release while they were under the Ertl company. You got some features there. Includes a wall display shelf which was a first feature of 61 which this box is replicating there are some parts inside a little preview of your decals and again all of the parts same on the other side again this is a box representation or replica of the 61 release of the styline kit getting inside of course we've got the 61 ford body has some nice moldings as you can see it is a curbside or craftsman style kit got a bag of glass bag of all of our parts and cool styline parts and uh, a bag of chrome in the bottom we've got the decals classic blue printer flyer We've got tires, screws, axles, and taillights. Let me get her on bag and we'll get a closer look. And we'll start off with the instructions, which I accidentally set aside when checking the box before filming. But here they are. A very nice reproduction of those 61 instructions. This whole kit being a very nice representation of that 61 kit. A nice throwback if you want that full experience of 61. Again, that Ford Galaxy Club Victoria hardtop showing you the kind of advanced custom or regular custom or the stock version again that three in one styline we've got a nice short story on styling kind of giving you a what's what in styling kind of how to view your building your styling your designing very cool giving you some pointers things to think about and moving into the stock kit Again, fairly simple kit with it being a Craftsman style kit. Stock interior. There is our chassis and body. Real easy build for the stock. Then we can move into the custom where you can let your imagination run a little bit. The interior and all the parts. Optional parts. You choose what you want on your Ford Galaxy. And moving on, we get into the restyling version, or like the advanced version, or advanced customizing that they call it later on. Giving you all the preparation, finishing, filler, painting, all of that, and your options for front and rear for the restyling. Some more work there with the filler, and then adding in grills and headlights onto the rear, some more tips on filling and recreating body lines and on the last page you get a little part swapping suggestions a little kit bashing of their other kits parts pulled out of other kits such as the thunderbird kits ranchero kits uh, some more thunderbird parts there and on to the display shelves which they introduced in 61 uh, nail it to your wall display your kit and they're even linkable to have a little tower of models if you so choose and of course the decal placement and arrangement of the decals very nice throwback to 1961 let's get into it we'll take a look at those decals these ones have yellowed a bit over time but hopefully with some sun bleaching we can get these to brighten up again if we want to use them really cool kind of faded paint job of the early 60s was a very big hit got some pinstriping got some uh other names there little push rods license plate you get one little decal there for the instrument gauge again 61 ford hardtop this is 7 of 97 when these ones were printed so again this is a kind of a 96 97 copyright kit and let's check out that body once again that's 61 Ford, kind of a sleek looking body. Start off on the nose. So you have a very nice Ford script across the front. Nice chrome wipers. Again, that hood on there has a curbside with the Galaxy name on the front fender. 
Moving back, we got some more chrome trim on the C-pillar door handles. Very prominent lower chrome. And then again, a Galaxy and a trunk lock on the back. Very nice kit. Again, since we're talking about Craftsman, we get this fully molded in kind of chassis suspension kit. Metal axle style has your engine detail molded in which you can pick out choose how you want to build it that's the way they were and of course this kit does come with the two metal axles for front and rear as well as it is a throwback with the screws these are phillips headed screws so they're not the factory original slotted style but it is kind of neat to have the full Kind of screw bottom experience moving on to parts i guess we'll talk about the tires since we're talking about the axles we get four tires and only four tires they are firestone branded on one side blank on the other kind of a stock straight rib style tires moving on to the hard parts we've got a clear front and back all one piece and it says galaxy 61 right across the windows a couple of headlight clears there and we go with the headlight clears we have our taillight reds a couple of variations a couple of styles and some smaller red inserts i believe or maybe those are just the injector points and chrome parts we got a ton of chrome for such a simple kit we got the rear bumper kind of rear grille taillight surrounds there's our stock front bumper and grill headlights, some wheel covers, another set of kind of custom wheels. Moving into some optional parts. These are kind of flipped around. We got one grill with some bars there. Nice little trophy there. Similar parts. This chrome goes around the custom rear. This might be some exhaust pipes there, grill center couple of aerials flip it back over some more grill inserts some cool custom bumperettes there headlights mirrors spotlights and other goodies there give you a good look at that there will be pictures of everything at the end if you'd like to see everything in still fashion and into the opaque part start with the interior tub all one piece Again, Craftsman's were very simple back in the day, but has a nice kind of stock interior pattern. Give a good look there. Pedals. And we got steering wheel and column with the shifter on the column. And a good looking dash. Very nice detail on the dash. Speedometer, clock, and all the gauges. Nicely detailed. Into some of the optional parts. We got some... Uh, these hold your tubs and glass and everything to the body. We got some wheel kind of lowering blocks or ride height blocks for your metal axles. We got a pair of seat belts there for you. Some more custom parts, a little reel to reel. We got some wheel backs, some really long side skirts, rear bumper pan, front bumper pan. For one of your custom variants and here's one of the other custom versions the big stacked headlights there for the front and a cool rear tail there very sleek i do believe this is a tool used for your putty work you got a scoop there for some custom design i believe look at the back and some more parts we got one more Kind of tailpiece there, I believe. There's a grill surround. These are tools. This is a sanding block with some different angles and designs for you to do your sanding work. I believe this is like a scrap sheet for doing any custom work if you want. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what that was intended for. And last but not least is our wall hanging unit. Kind of a two-piece unit there's the one side this is where your car sits 
and then you get a nice uh, Ford badge to display on the front of it as well. And with that, that'll wrap it up for this kit. Pictures at the end, and thanks for watching.